Now we have to talk about something I know a lot of people are dealing with, especially later tonight. You wake up, you head straight for the fridge for a late night snack. Then you end up eating way too much. I spoke with an expert earlier who says you might want to rethink that. All right, we've got to talk about something that I know a lot of people are out there dealing with, especially at this hour of the night where you wake up in the middle of the night. You end up going to the refrigerator and you start eating. You binge eat. Joining us now is Dr. Franchelle Hamilton. Dr. Hamilton, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Pleasure. Okay, we've got to talk about this. What exactly is this? Because I'm sure a lot of people have found themselves in this situation. That is true. And I treat a lot of people who, who have this. It's called night eating syndrome. It's actually a thing. And it occurs in about one of 10 people who struggle with overweight or obesity. What kind of problems can this type of syndrome lead to later down the road? Because I'm sure a lot of people don't even think that it can be something that amounts to something bigger later. Yeah, no, I agree. And just to kind of define it a little bit more, it's essentially where people are getting up in the middle of the night, very much like you said, and eating approximately 25% of their total calories. Normally we recommend eating it, you know, breaking it up throughout the day. But a lot of times the people who have these night eating syndromes will wake up and get a large amount of their calories all over, overnight, essentially. And what this could lead to, it's not only could lead to obesity, um, but it also can lead to diabetes, hypertension, a lot of these metabolic um, problems that we're seeing in the in the U.S., cardiovascular disease, all of these types of things because of the way our circadian rhythm works. We were not meant to get so many calories at night. And most of these calories are high fat, processed, saturated foods. Gotcha. Because I guess most people aren't waking up making a fresh salad. <laughs> That's exactly right. Or eating fruit. It's usually just quick grab and go junk. That's usually what they're craving at that time of hour. Yes, I'm guilty of that too. <laughs> so what can we all do to prevent this night eating? So one of the things would be to get on a better circadian rhythm. And so making sure you get a good night's sleep. A lot of people who wake up in the middle of the night and don't and want to eat either weren't getting enough calories during the day. So it's just making sure up the amount that of time that you're eating, have scheduled eating times, and making sure when you go to sleep, you're getting that what we call REM sleep, that really deep sleep into where you're not waking up. Other people who are more prone to this also have disorders such as anxiety and depression. And so treating those things can also help prevent um, people waking up in, in the middle of the night. Good information. Dr. Hamilton, real quick before I let you go, where can people find you online? Perfect. Thank you. So my website is www.stoptheregain.com. And then I'm all over social media as just Dr. Franchelle Hamilton. Perfect. Thank you so much for your time and breaking this down for us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for having me. My pleasure.